Alright, check around for a gun or something, alright? Where? Where? There's no glove compartment in this I don't know, shitty ass car. There. There's golf balls in this. What am I supposed to do with this? Hell no, man! I've never been in a freeway chase before! Hey guys, RC Anime here. Personally, comedy is one of my favorite genres. Not just because it's the most fun to watch. Watch out! Watch out! It just didn't explode! That's weird! But also because I think it's the one that's most welcoming to experiments. Huh? I really thought that one was gonna explode. It doesn't matter how smart or dumb the joke is, if it's funny. It's funny. Sure, there's some kind of general standard when it comes to delivering a gag, like the rule of three. But overall, even if you tell a really tasteless joke, with a bit of playfulness and absurdity, it could end up being successful. Having that said, there's one thing about comedy that doesn't seem to get utilized much, and that's the score. Most comedic films and shows, live action or animated, rarely use music to either be the butt of a joke or even support it. Instead, a lot of them use a standard genre of music for their scores, and I call that genre quirky sounds. And it's something you can really find everywhere. It's a form of music that has plagued so many films, anime, etc. It's something even Konosuba isn't completely innocent from. Having that said, the show knows how to use its more generic quirky sounds, having it reflect Aqua's hysteria and... throw a unique gag into it. Like this, there are plenty of standout moments in Konosuba, where its jokes and gags are amplified by its soundtrack. Juxtaposing over epic choirs, <laughs> to a quirky flute, <laughs> or something more calm and serious, <laughs> immediately into the complete opposite. Konosuba's comedy is built off of slapstick edits and unique punchlines. Therefore, the sound direction reflects that. Even when you expect an incoming joke from the structure, the unexpected insert of overly excessive music sells it. And that's something the show is really good at. You might see a punchline coming, but the music and sound is always edited in a way to deliver a laugh at full force. Not only does this look ridiculous, it also sounds bizarre. And for the most part, bizarre stuff makes us laugh. By utilizing the sound to back up the visuals, the laugh comes more naturally. Cause this... Doesn't feel like it's forcing a laugh out of you. Other shows with slapstick comedy that don't use music along with their jokes are sometimes required to push its visuals to the max, almost like a visual laugh track. And depending on the mood or joke, sometimes you do laugh, but typically it's less genuine, lacking subtlety and having each gag feel like it's punching a chuckle out of you. Of course, comedy is subjective, and everyone's sense of humor differs, but it's really sad to see something you don't find funny try so hard to be. Come on, Bernie. Breathe. Remember what you learned in birthing class? I remember thinking this is stupid, and I was right! 
Do you want me to get the nurse? No! If one more person puts their fingers near my uterus, I'm gonna cross my legs and snap them off! <sighs> Seriously? However, when you use music, you can actually give specific gags a personality. Every time Megumin blows something up, it's backed by a light motif. So when the theme begins playing, we know which joke is coming. The show even makes fun of light motifs, like in this scene where when we leave a gag, <sighs> the music disappears with it. And a little later, when we return to where we left off, it's stuff like this that gives Konosuba a sharp edge of humor. And it's not just the score that makes it funny. The show in general is really good with its sound editing, with or without music. <laughs> However, what makes Konosuba's use of music most important isn't the editing, rather it's how it adds to the show's theme. Like the story itself, the score is a parody of high fantasy soundtracks. Here how ReZero score uses low note vocals to back up its more unsettling high note ones. Most of the instruments in the background are also played in lower notes to create a dark image. In comparison, this is a choir track from Konosuba's score. Now, the background orchestra here is also playing on lower notes, but whenever we reach the choirs, it's nothing but high vocals and a harp. Also, with each phrase, the notes get higher and higher. Essentially, this is a fugue, and it's the most ridiculous fugue I've ever heard. So let's see how the show uses this track. See how I like the music? The animation is overdone and self-indulgent. This scene would not have worked without that music, because in order to complement something that looks stupid, you really need something that sounds a bit over excessive. That's why YouTube videos that put together the dumbest dings with the Attack on Titan theme are so funny. The idea for Konosuba's approach is pretty much the same. Having scenes that are kind of meant to be serious, given over exaggerated sounds. It's dumb, but it's hilarious. Remember, for stuff like this, there's really no such thing as being tasteful or tasteless. And some of the funniest stuff isn't from the high budget films or the professionally made anime. It comes from us, with too much time on our hands. Yeah. Nice. 